Hey guys, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. In today's video, I'm going to be cashed up in my second week or second paycheck in July. So if you're interested in seeing this, please be sure to stay tuned. All right, thank you guys so much for tuning in to my channel today. You may be able to hear it in my voice, but I have the most amazing summer cold ever. <laughs> Except for not really, this sucks. Um, so I'm going to get this done quickly because it's not. And yeah. So anyway, I do not have that much to stuff this particular paycheck. Um, just because again, the way the month fell, I have more bills on this side of the paycheck than I had on the last side. And then I don't even know, like you guys comment below. So I, in case you missed it, I'm leaving my current school district and going back to the school district that I worked at before, which means that my paychecks are like done so i got paid today which is the 28th of july and technically i will not be getting paid again until september 15th whoa so obviously i have money in like envelopes um you know cash stuffings things of that nature and then i have money that is in like my savings so like given this situation like what would you guys do are you pulling from savings or are you just pulling from the envelopes because at this point i'm like i don't even know I don't even know what to do right now. So leave me a comment below letting me know if you were in my situation, like what you would do. I had not planned for this. Um, <laughs> I had not expected this to happen. It was kind of a semi last minute decision for me to even switch positions just based upon some things that ended up happening at the district that I was working at that I could not continue. I didn't feel comfortable continuing to work there anymore, which is why I left. So, but at that particular job, we were paid every two weeks, but then going back to the school district that I worked at before, the pay is on the 15th and the 30th. So seeing as though school does not technically start until September, or August 14th, they're kind of like, you know, you just, you start in on that cycle, but then your first check again, like I said, wouldn't be till September 15th. So August Whew. obviously half of August is covered with this particular paycheck. August from now until I don't even know when I would have expected to be getting paid. But it's just going to be that last half until, you know, the end of, well, till mid-September that I have to try to figure out. So anyway, let me know what you guys would do. I'm going to stop talking about that because my brain is still trying to process it. <laughs> when I really need to get this cash stuffing done. So we're going to first count the money. I am stuffing $325 today. And like I said, it won't be a lot going into envelopes just because I didn't want to put more money in envelopes that I may potentially have to take out. So 51, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 80. 85, 90, 95, 3, 5, 305, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Okay, yeah. Just making sure there weren't any more B's, J's, and A's. I guess I can. I didn't get any tens, so I will move this up. All right, and then these I will put to the side to go in my envelope. Um, the cash breakdown sheet is available in my shop. However, my shop is on vacation, which now that I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna fix that and just put the digital items. Um, still available, but then leave the rest of the items on vacation just because I need a minute to like get my life together. Um, 
I did get some more bank bags in stock. So as soon as this, as soon as I come off of vacation for the physical shop, then I will go ahead and put um, these, you know, back available. So just kind of stay on the lookout for that. But yeah, right now I just needed a break. <laughs> um, so let's see for my wallet. Everything is empty. I did have more cash in here just a little while ago, but then the school district um, required that I pay for my background check. So the money, the leftover money that I did have in here, I used that today. So I even had to pull from my giving folder. Um, so yeah, we'll just be starting this over because they only took cash or checks and I don't have any checks. My receipts, I am going to sketch in the Fetch app. So I will do that um, afterwards. If you are not familiar with Fetch, it is an app that you scan your gift card, not gift cards, your receipts to earn points for gift cards. Um, and I will leave my code up on the screen for you. And let's pull out, if I can get it, all of this change, which goes into my change jar. I love getting rid of the change because this wallet gets super duper heavy. Come on. All right. All right. So for um beauty oh this was left this was um b's and a's that i got from like change back so i'm gonna put that back here with the rest of them all right so for beauty oh no let's start with what's this miscellaneous that's the only bad thing about these clear envelopes is it is hard to see <laughs> um so miscellaneous gets a total of 50 dollars. so 20 40 i took out one, two, three. So really it's 47. One, two, three, four, five, and two, 20, 47. So I will put 22 in here for this week and then save the other 25 for next week. Food also gets 50. So 20, 40, 45 and 50. All right, and then beauty, 48 for nails, 20, 40, 5, 6, 7, 8, 48, oops. 48 for nails, and then 78. Uh, let's do it this way. 48 for nails and then 78, 50, 75, 6, 7, 8 for hair. All right, and then nothing in giving this time. Okay, and then, oops, I'm not stuffing any of these this time. I am going to do my July challenge. And we're gonna put the 50 in here. So this now has the hundred dollars to complete this challenge. And I will put the August one in here as soon as I find it. All right, then we I'll put this up here. All right, and then uh, for the Brandy Janae, which is this one, 
had my B's, J's, and A's, so I'm adding one, two, three, four, five, six dollars to this. So now it has one hundred, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So one hundred and fourteen dollars in the Brandy Jemay envelope. So that binder is done. And then last but not least, we have my 50 envelope challenge. And this gets 20, 40, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So $49 for this one. All right. And then I'm going to pull 44, even though I will not be saving it until September. <laughs> It'll be good for me to remember. So that is it, you guys. Super quick. Like I said, um, again, don't forget to leave me a comment below letting me know what you would do. Are you pulling money from your envelopes? Or are you pulling money from, from um, your savings? Like, obviously this, I, I mean, technically it is an emergency, I guess. Technically. <laughs> um, not getting paid is an emergency to me. I don't know about for you, but to me it's an emergency. So just let me know what you think. The goal is to not obviously rack up additional credit card debt. Um, although, you know, again, you got to do what you got to do. So... Depending on the situation and how I can get things to fall, I may have to do that. And, you know, such is life. Like, I will figure it out, work it out, get to back to where I need to get to. Um, because this new job does come with a uh, slight increase in pay. Not too, too much, but definitely more than I was making at the other one. So, yeah, we'll see. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, although I know it was really short. <laughs> um, I'm going to go take some Benadryl and lay down. But I appreciate you for watching, um, commenting, liking. I, I appreciate all of those things. I have noticed that I've gotten quite a few subscribers recently. So thank you all for being here with me. Um, whether you're here for my budgeting, my teaching, or my planning, either way, I appreciate you. So be safe, be kind, be well. And I will catch you in the next video.